Makers racing to restart in vitro fertilization services in Alabama. It all comes from the state Supreme Court ruling that frozen embryos are legally protected children. Just a short time ago, the House passed legislation that would shield in vitro fertilization providers from unnecessary legal prosecution. The Senate is also expected to vote on that bill tonight. WSFA 12 News reporter Brady Talbert is live at the State House with the update. Brady. Well, Mark and Val, this bill will protect patients and providers from potentially facing legal problems resulting from that Alabama Supreme Court ruling you were just talking about. Now, this legislation doesn't address the issue of personhood, and some lawmakers believe more must be done on that issue. Today's actions are, in a way, a temporary stopgap that will allow IVF treatment to resume. Some in state services have already stated that once new legislation has passed, they will resume IVF cases. We didn't want to act too quick and cause more disruption than what we should. So I think that was the main purpose for that. We hope and believe that the clinics will open back, that this is going to provide the immunity that they need to continue doing the process with these families. Now, this bill does have to go back to the Senate, and I'll tell you, I've been in the Senate most of my afternoon. They have been debating school choice, another big issue right now. So it could be a long conversation tonight, long yeah. debate. Brady, thank you so much. Governor Ivey has indicated that she will sign whatever legal protections lawmakers are able to pass through.